Boost Oak Beach, Mitt and Will Lynch, Komodo Chili Challenge. Just for a giggle, just for a giggle, let's get it on. Look at this, look at that. That is a stonker. Beautiful fish, absolutely beautiful. Absolute stonking fish, eh? Beautiful. Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Addicted to Anglum. Another carpy video for you today. And today, even though I said we're going on to a day ticket water next, I've come back to the club lake because one of my good friends has finally got a ticket for this lake. And I've brought him down here for his first night session. Now, it's a Friday afternoon. I've turned up, I've been here a couple of hours uh, and so far I've not had anything. I just thought, you know, I wasn't going to make a video, but then I thought, you know, sod it, I'm actually going to try and do one. So, like I say, we're on the club lake. We're fishing a different part of the club lake. We're, club lake. we're fishing the middle of the lake this time and we've got a beautiful, beautiful area in front of us to fish. Come down and there's only one other person on the lake tonight. He's fishing over the other side. He's not really using carp tactics or anything like that. He is fishing feeder and waggler, and I think he's going to fish till midnight, he was saying, with a clip on light. But yeah, me and Tony so far, he's set up next to me. In front of me, I'll show you my swim in a minute. I've got a far side overhanging tree, which I'm fishing to. And to the left-hand side of me, I've got a margin spot that has also got overhanging trees in it, which I'm just fishing in front of them. I know the fish hang over the far side, a lot of fish do come from over the far side. I've put the perfect cast in. Uh, it went absolutely lovely in between a gap in the trees with a 14 mil Parker Bates OG fish boilie, which I will go through in a little while with you, which I'm using today for the first time. A uh, little uh, mesh bag, obviously, as well, with a few boilies in it, covered in the flat spot, which is another thing I'll go through in a minute. And I plonked the other one just down beside me, margin swim in front of the trees, probably 10 foot from where I'm fishing during the day. Not too confident that will produce, but I know if I keep that in there, get a mesh bag down there and leave it, at some point the fish will come through because they do love to run the margins here. As always, I will produce a fat boy meal for you later as well. Um, the one tonight is... It's tip top, it's gonna to be a beautiful meal. And yeah, let's hopefully we'll get some fish. Massive high pressure at the minute. The temperature's absolutely flown up in the last few days. No clouds in the sky. It's hot, it's sticky, but I know at some point in this lake, those fish will get their heads down and it will produce runs. I'm pretty certain that far side, you know, that, that looks like a bite. Where I've put that out there, that certainly, certainly looks like a bite. And like I say, the inside margin, always an option. Always an option on this lake. So, I'll go through in a minute with my spots with you. I'll show you the area we're fishing. But until then, I'll see you in a little while. Right, so the spots I'm fishing tonight. If you look over here, where my finger's now coming down. Just there, right at the very back. I've got the right hand rod sitting over there. Like I say, I've got a uh, little bag of boilies around that. Just over there, perfect cast. To be honest with you, I don't think I could do that again if I tried. And the second rod is just, where's my finger coming in? Literally just around there, just off the edge of that tree. Like I say, I know the fish roll through at night. I know they come into the margins. It's more of a nighttime spot, but I've got the flat spot down there. I've got some boilies down there. You know, it's gonna they're gonna break down. They're gonna create a cloud in the water. You know, it is gonna attract the fish. There's gonna be food down there. And like I say, the far side, 
I've got a few boilies over there around my hook bait as well, but that far side swim is the one that I am predicting a bite from first of all, if I get any bites at all. It's looking good, it is looking good. The sky is now starting to cloud over. The wind's blowing down this way, so, you know, where Tony is, I'll take you down to Tony's swim in a minute, but where he's fishing, he's got a narrow gap between an island and the bank this side. So it's going to push any food items down and through that. So I reckon he could be in for a bite tonight as well. But it's such a beautiful lake and such a beautiful day. So far we've had kingfishers flying around us. We've had, you know, load of coots, load of moorhens. But the kingfishers are always a sight to behold. I love seeing kingfishers. And there's two of them absolutely ramming around the lake earlier, tweeting away at each other, which is absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, hopefully I'll come back on camera soon with a uh, carpy carp 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 for you. If not, I'll come back anyway and uh, speak to you soon, all right? film suggests I'm using a new bait tonight on the lake now there's a YouTube channel or a carp tube channel if you will called the Parker brothers now only one of the brothers does the YouTube and the other one is in the bait factory now these two brothers they, one of them's been making videos for quite a while and I believe from what I can make out they went into the bait making business they had an idea they knew what would work and they've gone into the bait making business and from following them for quite a while the business is now absolutely taken off now i've to and fro always about trying their baits and recently i took the plunge um i bought some parker baits og fish 14 mil uh, they do two different baits they do og fruit and nut and og fish now the fruit and nut as the name suggests it's a fruity nutty flavor but the fish i love using my fish meal based uh, baits like i said i thought i'd try this freezer baits they get delivered next day delivery uh, i bought five kilos they come perfectly packed there's no no issues at all with the packing no issues with the delivery but these baits just looking at them just smelling them they're something else they they are very very high quality now the baits themselves go through a two stage dusting and curing process now when they're rolled as they normally do they come out like a normal uh, boilie but i don't even know if you can see this i'll try and get a close-up of it in a little while and i'll do it they're dusted now they come out and they put a dusting around them which sticks to the boilie and it's not like you know you can feel it you can smell it in the water with that dusting process around them the dust and the particles from this will obviously break away from the boilie and they will create more scent, more attraction, more small particles in the water, which will attract the fish. You know, don't get me wrong, a standard boilie without a dusting on it, we know they work. Everyone out there uses them and they work, but that must be an added advantage. It really must. All those little bits breaking off when it, you know, when it gets, when the water gets to it, it puts not even a cloud in the water. It's just tiny bits of flavor floating around, you know, and then but they're bits of flavor, they're gonna move with the water and the wind. They're gonna draw the fish to your bait. I'm really looking forward to try these and I'm really, really hoping they do work because I love watching the YouTube channel. I follow him on Instagram and some of the results that anglers that are using this bait have, phenomenal. You know, they're getting some good fish and he always catches quite a lot of fish on his YouTube. Now. I say not sponsored by them or anything like that. It's literally just trying something, see if it works. And I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of the boilies because there's another YouTube channel out there called Caravan Carpers, I believe it is, and he did a really in-depth video on these baits. So go and find that if you will. 
if you want to know more about them, he goes really in depth about all the fish mill bases they use, all the high quality stuff they use in the baits. Along with the uh, bait as well, I bought another product they've released called Flat Spot. Now, they tout this as being like a hemp oil on steroids. I believe it's a fishy, oily mix, but when you put it on your bait, it does flatten the surface of the water, which is always good. You know, it's an added attraction. I'm not putting it on the actual boilie itself. I'm putting a mesh bag of boilies around the hook and I'm coating it in that and I'm casting it out and it does work. It is flattening the surface, but yet again, I've seen videos of that being used. It gives off little glob jewels of, uh, of oil floating up to the surface. Added attraction. It's always an added attraction. You know, that oil will float up, but that oil will also disperse around the bottom, you know, that will draw the fish in. Any flavouring out there, you know, anything for carp, if you can get a flavour going, if you can get particles, if you can get a scent trail in the water, it's going to draw them in. So, I'm hoping that these items work. We'll see. You know, even if they don't, I'll give them another go another day. It's always nice to try new baits, you know. It's... Uh, some people do get stuck on using baits. Like I know a lot of people out there, they stick with cell, they stick with the krill, you know, they stick with sticky, they stick with mainline, etc., etc. But I want to try something different, and if it works, I will be sticking with it. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Still had no uh, no action yet. It's clouding over, you know. It's it, the water temp, the water, the air temperature. Sorry, not the water temperature. Water temperature is going to stay the same. The air temperature is cooling down. I've got the front of my bivy, I've completely took it off tonight. It's it's gonna be a warm night, so I'm just gonna be having the front of my bivy off. If I get eaten alive by mozzies, I get eaten alive by mozzies. There's no two ways about it. But I reckon it's now, what's the time now? It's now quarter past five. See, I'm saying seven o'clock onwards. I reckon we'll start seeing some action on it, but we'll see. We'll see, so yeah. Let's crack on. And in the words of Mr. Parker Bates himself, come on the Nosser pigs. And this is Tony's swim. Now, as you can see, this swim, he hasn't got a lot of water to play with, but what he has got in front of him is, if you look over here, that is an island, and behind that there's a clear channel that's coming round, and he's got a bait just here. And also, with his pole, he's dropped another bait just literally on the edge of the pads there so that is also looking good for a bite tonight i mean it's quite a tight swim don't get me wrong but it's packed full of features you've got bushes you've got an island you've got channels the fish are going to run through i think he's on for a bite tonight i'm hoping he does catch one hopefully he gets his first ladywood carp out of here tonight um let's get him a beautiful scaly banger so far i've just had a liner so i know they're over on the far side on my swim left hand rod like I say I don't think that's going to do anything until later so I'm just leaving that in there I'll come back in a little while let's see if we can get one of these beautiful fish out of this lake right, welcome back just thought I'd give you a little bit of a uh, heads up on what's been going on it's getting darker I think it's coming up to about seven o'clock at night sun's going down there is definitely a chill in the air it's cooling down lovely now there's a lot of fizzing on the far side where my rod is just under the trees I don't know if I was mugged off or if I had a liner to be honest with you. Uh, the bobbin did slap up but it was literally a second to second and a half of a beep and then it dropped back down again. So with the fizzing over there, I'm calling it a liner. Left hand rod, like I say, I am not expecting anything on that until later on when it gets dark. I've still been feeding the trickling of boilies in just in case there are fish coming in and feeding. The far side, I'm also trickling boilies in as well. There's a lot of fish boshing around near Tony's swim, so hopefully, I'm really hopeful he's going to get one tonight too. But it's getting later. I'm getting hungry. So, let's see what I've got in the magic bag of tricks tonight. I've got salt and pepper burger buns. Absolutely beautiful. Halloumi. Oh, nice. Beef quarter pounders. And to finish off the fat boy meal for tonight, Gouda cheese, Gouda, Gouda, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to now rustle up some jumbo Ginocosaurus burgers for me and Tony. I'll come back in a little while and I'll show you what they look like once I've finished cooking them. Where are you getting that from? Got one of these? Yeah. 
And here we have it. Fat boy, juicy burger, halloumi, quarter pounder, gouda cheese, or gouda. That is stunning. Mmm, very nice. Right. I'm going to eat this, and then I'm going to reposition my rods again, because still a little bit in two minds, like I say, that far side rod, whether I've been mugged off, or whether it's a liner, so I'm going to recast it out there, not add any more action on the rod, like I say, it's fish fism, put it out there, ready for the rest of the night, the left hand rod I'm going to leave down there, and like I say, hopefully that will produce, so I'm going to eat this, and I'll come back and speak to you. Right, there we go, first one of the night from the far, uh, far bank spot, which I said I reckon would go off first. Parker Bates doing the job. Not a monster. Fought like an absolute warrior though. Absolutely beautiful little fish. I'm gonna get this one back, get the bait back out, and let's see if we can get something bigger during the night. Mwah. Lovely. Stunner. Right, it's two o'clock in the morning. Tony on his first night on the lake. He's had a lovely, lovely mirror. First fish from Ladywood, mate. Well done on your first night here. Thank you very much. Lovely little fish, mate. Yeah, Gave you a little bit of a run around, didn't it? God, yeah, not, <laughs> I fired a couple of beeps and then that just literally just screamed off, mate. I'm not well pleased with that. That is an absolute stunning That's fish, that is. beautiful fish, they are, mate. They're lovely, lovely fish. And they're right, let's get that sorted out, get it put back. Congratulations, mate, well done. Thank you very much. Three o'clock in the morning. I've been getting liners for a little while. Woke me up, sat there, a couple of liners, and then it tore off little another little mirror bit of a pasty not big gave a lovely little account of itself but yet again it's another fish on the Parker Bates Parker Bates doing the business for me tonight like I said there's a fair few of these fish in here of this size you know there's a, there is a fair few fish of this size but there is also some 20s and upper 20s in here it's just actually getting finding them that's why I like fishing this lake because target fish the bigger fish actually just you know finding them through the small ones but these small ones are beautiful they put up a lovely fight beautiful little fish lovely mirror carp I'm gonna put her back and get the rods out again and see if I can uh, pick up one of these big ones I say three o'clock in the morning just been laying there watching the uh, watching the bobbin twitch every now and then, so I knew they were around there. And off it went, tightened up, and then all of a sudden just <laughs> dropped back, completely dropped back, wound into it, and she was on. Lovely, right. Get these rods out, and let's see if we can find another one out there. Just gone nearly five o'clock. I was laying there, half asleep, watching the water. Yet again, the right hand rod, absolutely melted off. And another little chunk on the Parker Bates. Absolutely stunning little fish, beautiful mirror, nice dark scaly little thing, a few nice scales on it, what a fish, the Parker Baits are really doing the business tonight for me, little stunning fish, look at that eh, and it gave a hell of a scrap again, all the fish in here, fight really hard, really healthy fish, going to get that rod back out, not going to be here too late today to be honest with you but we'll see if we can get another one on camera for you tony's just lost one as well that went in the lily pads but what a stunning little fish happy days So I'm devastated is an understatement. Uh, the sun's coming up. It's getting near packing up time. I was literally then thinking about packing up, watching some videos on my phone. That right rod absolutely slammed round. The bobbin smashed into the blank. The rod ripped round. Hooked into it. 
all of a sudden it felt like it had come off. It was swimming towards me, caught back up with it. As soon as it realised it was hooked, it tore off down the lake. Straight away I could feel it was a good fish. The line was absolutely screaming off the clutch. Let it run. It came up in the water. I could see it was easily a very high double. It might even have been pushing over the Magic 20. Um, there's not many in here. It was, it was a nice fish for this lake. It really was. Had it on for, I don't know, probably a minute or so. Um, like I say, it was it was going. There was loads of power left in it. I could feel it through the blank. You know, that, that rod was bent round and that was taken off. Came up in the water. I could see it underneath the surface, thrashing its head about. Bam. Hook pulled out. Devastated. Absolutely devastated. There's not many opportunities you get in here to hook the bigger fish and after the smaller ones I've had last night the excitement level obviously rose up it was you know my heart was going and to have a hook pull on it it happens it's fishing it's just one of those things um, not good not good but like I say it's just one of them things but you know free fish last night one weem I've had a bream this morning as well uh, just didn't even bother getting out. I just unhooked it in the water and let it swim off. And then that lost fish, which, you know, it happens. It does happen. But, yeah, I'm going to start packing up slowly in a minute. I've still got my left-hand rod out there. I'll pack up slowly. I'm going to leave that rod out until the last thing, see if I can pick something up on that. I'm getting liners on it, so there is fish feeding around in the area. The Parker baits last night, I'm impressed. I am very, very impressed by that bait. It seems to do the trick. The test will be to take it onto one of the big day ticket waters around here, uh, get on stuff at Water Park or somewhere like that with it, see how it fares on the big lake on there, see if I can get a decent fish out on it. But that is going to be the end of the video, unless I pick something else up on the left hand rub. Three fish, one bream on top of that, and one lost <laughs> decent fish. I think you can probably tell how devastated I am. It's just one of them things. It really is. But hey-ho, life goes on, as they say. But yeah, anyway, like I say, if I don't get anything else, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe if you've enjoyed watching the video. And I will be back very soon. I know Will has got some stuff in the pipeline. He's made a couple of videos, which will be out soon. He's going to be out doing some sea fishing. Uh, so keep an eye out for those videos coming on the channel and me and him will be finally joining up very soon for a session to get a video made together like we used to so that'll be fun as well so anyway like i say take care of yourselves i'm matt this is addicted to angling thank you for watching and i will see you on the bank soon